Hi, I'm Chris McDonald. I'm from Bladen Wines. You're watching Bogan's Guide to Wine. Get it in you. G'day, or Kira Ora, because we're in New Zealand. I'm Sampy from Bogan's Guide to Wine. I'm here with Chris from Bladen Wines, and uh, we're going to try your uh, Pinot Noir. Yes, we Excellent. Are. Now tell us a little bit, Bladen, how long have you guys been established? Oh, um, Dave and I have been here since 1989. 89? 89. And in 1989, it was so long ago, that there were only eight wineries in the valley at that stage. Wow. Yeah. So you're one of the originators? Or? Well, we weren't a winery at that stage, we were just growing grapes, but it was really early days. Yep. And when we planted the vineyard, we were the most western vineyard to go in here. Right, so you became your own entity in 89. Yeah. Yep, yeah. right. And so what sort of, because I understand this is quite a small little boutique setup yeah. compared to a lot of these, uh, you know, yep. hundreds of uh, hectares of vines. How, how much yep. space do you guys take up? Well, we've got 20 acres here. 20 acres? Yep. Sounds like a lot, but it's not. It's only tiny. In comparison, yeah. Yeah. And um, what we did, we started off making a range of aromatic wines, and that was before even Sauvignon Blanc was really, really heavily into into the yep. but of course now. It's all over the place. It's all over the place. <laughs> so yeah, Sablanc and uh, Pinot are really the signature grapes of the Mulga region, aren't they? They are, they are indeed. Yep. Probably what I need to tell you is about our label. Yes. Actually, I was going to, when we drove in, uh, Dave from Highlight Wine Tours, he was pointing out that uh, we were talking about your logo. I thought it was two elephants when we uh, breezed past it. <laughs> no. But it's not elephants at all, is it's, it? It's gloves. It's, it's gloves. gloves. It's gloves. So, what's the story behind that? Um, the gloves are on the label because they're quite significant, really, because nothing happened when you have them in gloves on. Right. And we discovered that on day two. Day two. Day two. And, and of course, we're pretty hands on here, which is how we started. Right. We've named the vineyard after our children, our son Blair and daughter Denny. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. Name's McDonald's, so you couldn't call them. You know. <laughs> McDonald's wine, <fine, laughs> eh? <laughs> Doesn't quite work. Um, oh, great. So. Yeah. Shall I crack this or are you going to... You go. I'll do it. And that works. Oh. A little bit of uh, oh. pressure behind that. <laughs> that might not have all. Yeah, straight away that looks really nice. We've had a couple of Pinots since we've been here and there's been a, quite a few dark, earthy yeah. ones. This, is, this looks more like a, a proper yeah. Pinot. Yeah. So, uh, so this, this is grown at single vineyard wine and mm -hmm. it's grown from four different times we have planted out here in the old block. And these were the... the, the the last of our varieties to go on the ground, these weren't planted until 1970. Seems like not long ago really, but time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want that year around the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, what should I be looking for from the nose here? Oh, I think this is a lovely fresh um, cherry and strawberry and berry, deep berry. It's just undoubtedly a Pinot nice. straight yeah, away, there's no yeah. mistake. It's a uh, Pinot, you know, like I say, it smells very fresh and yeah. abiding. It's, uh, it's a little charry too. It's a little charry. And it's come because we've had this wine in oak for 15 months. Okay, so what kind of oak? Is it American it, or French? No, it's French oak. But only only a small proportion of it's brand new oak and the rest of the barrels we've used once and twice before. Uh, let's have a bit of a taste, though. Cheers! Mm. Oh, that's lovely. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's quite big. It's quite, it's quite punchy. It's uh, not, uh, once again, like Pinots can sometimes be a little bit restrained or a little bit tight. And it's got a lovely long finish on it too, and a little peppery edge just on there. It's what we find with Pinot. It's a very difficult variety to grow. And um, you can read all you like about Pinot, but it's not until you've got your clones growing in your property and you're working with it in your weather and your microclimate that you actually know what it's going to do. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and what we try and do here is it, it takes a lot of work to get pen and pen. And um, what you find is when you're out there working, whatever you're doing in the vineyard, whether it's good or bad, you reflect back in the wine. So if you're doing good things, it's doing good wine. Mm -hmm. And if you're not working at hard enough, you're getting a very average wine. A little lackluster. Yeah. So it it, 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 it uh, represents the work you put into it. It does. Yeah. And we um, ship them, and we freak them, and we lift them, obviously by hand. 
Um, and we're very careful with that too because you know if you're letting too much light in to your grapes, your grapes need sunlight on them, but if you get too much in they'll actually sunburn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, but if you and you can get quite a tartness through your wine then, but if you're not getting enough sunlight into them, of course it's gonna be green and stalky flavours. And towards the end of the season we're on river bed here and it's very free draining and um, we've got to be very careful with, with the water. Over water, that's dilute, the underwater, the jammy, everything's a fine line depending. Well, I think we pretty much all know it. This is, uh, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, it's none of those bad things you just said. It's, it's, yeah. it's nice and bright, it's nice and punchy, it's got lots of flavour, it's uh, soft. Yeah. So, uh, how much would uh, punters be paying for a, a bottle of this? Here at the cellar door, $33. Oh, geez, that's a uh, bargain. Not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, not a lot. lot. It's not, not a lot. It's not a lot. It's not a lot. It's quite an expense because, like I yes. said, so much work goes into yeah. producing the, the product. It's, yeah. So $33 is, particularly yes. for a quality one like that. Right. So how many people go about getting a bottle of uh, Bladen Pinot? <laughs> you could jump online to um, www.bladen.co.nz and order online. No worries. And, and is, it, is it available? Well, we most, in, most have got Australian in, viewers. So. In, um, in Brisbane, you will find some of it there and in Melbourne as well. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so any Australian distributors out there that are looking yeah. for someone to uh, a yeah, new, new product, <laughs> have a go at this because this, this will sell like hotcakes, right? Yeah. Especially if it's uh, at that price. It's crazy. I'm just looking at these other prices here too. Yeah. Pinot Rosé, 21, 21, 21, 25, 20. cheap, cheap, cheap stuff. It's uh, certainly over delivery. It's credit yeah, it's to great. you. Thank you very much. It's very cool. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for your time. Thanks. Till next time. You. This has been Bogus Guide to Wine. Get it in ya. Thank <laughs> you.